Yeah, we're just talking a little bit more about this with this uh, denomination. It's part of the reason why he has me there. It's one of the newer ones and more ridiculous than ever denominations. That, uh, yeah, speaking in tongues, yeah. Like I said, they, they, it's, it's about coming up with a gimmick that, that makes them different from all the other Christians. And then promoting it like a snake oil salesman. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Scientology, yeah. Those just straight ass ridiculous. They got truth in them all. But you got to sort through all the ridiculousness. But every denomination has that problem. You have to sort through the ridiculousness. And he's made that way on purpose. Because if you figure it out, and you find him, you'll find out you don't really need the church. You'll find out you're pretty cool to go as you go. And you'll worry about it out here, where he is everywhere not in that damn church see they got a mission and their mission is to keep a paycheck coming in so they keep their church going and so uh, it's been kind of a catch-22 on the thing with uh, having a church you don't do very well if you don't sell it very well because people don't uh, donate to you very well But uh, that doesn't mean that they've been wrong or that they're doing wrong. It's just a matter of how it's been. Caveman times. Caveman churches. Yeah, it's definitely time to evolve and uh, bring order to the House of Eden. realizing that lies need to be checked at the door. Don't come into that house with lies. That is definitely a double penalty zone. And, uh, it goes for him, anyone that steals from the father. You'd be surprised what they call stealing. Plain and simple, is it yours? No, then don't take it. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely time to straighten out the house of Eden. All of them. Get them all going on the one denomination. Avatar theory, the right one. The one is and has always been the truth. Mankind just wasn't smart enough to figure it out yet. And it was kept a secret on purpose for me to reveal to you so that you'd know who I was. And uh, now that you hear it, it's actually pretty simple. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people in rabbit holes. It's going to take a minute to get them out. And those are the people that are running these churches. They, uh, they are the same as the Pharisees that stood in front of Jesus. They were sure they had the last word of God right there in their hand, those books of Moses. And, uh, and Jesus was actually performing miracles too and telling them. And they just couldn't see that. No, they gave him up. They liked what they had going on. So we might have a little bit of resistance here with uh, some of the denominations and, and realizing that uh, that's God's, not yours. Thank you for your service. Now, if you want to serve, you'll become a monk or a nun. <laughs> and you'll serve with the people that really need the help. Jesus missions they really are a mission to save the souls that 
really do take the time to teach them and educate them, give them the tools to survive out in the world, and don't let them out there until they do. And if they can't, they won't. That's what we got to get going. That's the thing. You'd be surprised how many will figure it out and realize, okay, gravy train's over. I'm going to go get a job. Uh, I'm going to get an apartment. I'm going to pay my bills. Yeah, there'll be a whole bunch of them. They'll figure it out right away. Especially when it's a lockup version that uh, is their alternative. Yeah. Then we'll know who we really need to help. Um, that's why it has to happen in the lockup version. Because uh, <laughs> there's their motivation. You want to be in the world? Act right. Pay your bills. Get a job. And act right. It's the only ones we're going to allow out in the world. The rest... They'll be in the Jesus missions. I don't know. We might rename that. I don't know. You guys do whatever the hell you want. But he does say he wants mandatory missions. That they are going to stay there. Until they can prove they're ready to work in the world. And to be part of the world. If they uh, choose not to. Which some of them are very old. Some of them are very, very close to the end of their time anyway. They can just stay there. Yeah, we'll work it out. You think it'll be a cost, but it really won't. Because you'll stop the burden on society of having them out here. Tearing shit up, destroying things, and making people feel uncomfortable when they shouldn't. Because it's their choice to act right. Not the people out here that are acting right, that are doing right, and being right. It's not their fault. And they don't deserve to pay for it. Not anymore. You want to play the homeless game? We got a place for you.